what is up everybody um back with another big man and today we're going to explode my manhood pause anime that story by yo yo it'll get i never miss you know what i'm saying look into it nice car this story took place back when i was younger and living in south carolina my mom had a friend who will name tanya and she had two children darren and peace Every once in a while we would all go to their house and stay the weekend and while my mom spent time with Tanya, my brother and I would get into all kinds of shenanigans with her kids. And that we did, we would do things like fighting, fighting in the kitchen, fighting in the living room, playing video games, fighting in the bathroom, fighting in the backyard. We, we did not get along well, like, like at all. I'm sure most of you can pick this up from how I portray myself on the internet, but I was a little square as a kid. I, I literally just drew pictures and played Smash Bros, that, that's it, and well, you know, things change. Now, I'm a big square instead of a small square. I still don't do much. Darren and Peace, on the other hand, much tougher than my soft ass. And they definitely knew it. Like, they would get bored and, and, and bully us just because they knew we wouldn't do anything. Like, one morning I had woken up, went to the kitchen, and poured me a nice, delectable, crunchy bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Milk first, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna just give the cereal first, people, a chance Milk to get upset. Milk first? Hold the fuck! I take my correctly poured bowl of cereal, and right as I'm about to sit down and enjoy my food, my pants get yanked to the ground by Darren for everyone in the kitchen to bear witness. Straight <laughs> silence. Out of shock, I look down at my pants on the ground, and my stomach starts to woo walk and stirring so hard, but my pancreas couldn't get too sturdy because the silence gets broken <laughs> by laughter. Darren peace and to my surprise my brother and he's laughing the hardest of all <laughs> ah okay you got me <laughs> bro it's not that serious <laughs> I realize my brother and everyone in the room is laughing a little too obnoxiously. Like, sure, it was funny, I guess, but pulling down my pants definitely did not warrant the response it was getting. Like, there is no reason for my brother to be laughing like a broken catalytic converter. <laughs> I get mad and decide to ignore everyone. I pull my pants up and right before I can leave, I hear, This nigga wears tidy whiteies, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> this is the day, guys. This was the day I learned tidy whiteies weren't cool and that everyone's supposed to wear boxers. I was 12. How was I supposed to know that there were certain types of underwear that I could and could not wear? It does the same job. And this was way before I had even the slightest chance of getting any type of box. So no one but me was seeing them. I saw no issue in wearing them at all. And you know what the worst part of this is? Even my own brother didn't tell me that I was committing an international felony by wearing tidy whities because lo and behold, every male in this house was wearing them. Where was the in- <clears throat> And anyways, the day continues, but I'm annoyed, so I decide to play the Xbox and they start to have a pillow fight. A fight that I definitely decided to skip out on out of anger and fear of getting pants again. So I'm playing the game, fully ignoring everyone. I try to calm myself down by looking at nothing but the TV screen. I'm fully focused on this game right now, but then I feel a tap on my shoulder. I look over and a pillow with the structural density of a brick rams into my face. Someone literally walked up to me while I was doing nothing, tapped me on the shoulder and folded me like a bullied, Motorola bro. phone, man. I get up dizzier than a Bill Cosby party guest, and to my surprise, so I see my brother holding a pillow with the mold of my face in it. And honestly, I've, I've, I've never felt more betrayed in my life. Like, not only did he laugh at me, not tell me about the underwear, but he also hit me. But that's not all. He then has the absolute gall to ask me, do you want to play? <laughs> 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 sure i'll play i decide to play but the only game i'm thinking about is the one that got interrupted by the brick in a pillowcase so i'm going for blood in this pillow fight man i'm <laughs> knocking <laughs> heads <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
so we're playing and playing but i still haven't gotten a chance to hit my brother back because obviously he knows i want to knock his cerebral cortex out of his skull so he's avoiding <laughs> me i try for a good 30 minutes but then someone gets the mess knocked out of him i don't fully remember exactly what happened but somebody hit somebody too hard and now my brother and darren were arguing even though he annoyed me, that's still my little brother's. And Darren is going in on him. So the only thing I'm thinking as his older brother is, now's my chance to get him back. <laughs> I grab my pillow with two hands. I sneak behind him, twist my body all the way for maximum momentum. I channel my inner Chris Brown and then that boy said I my look inner down Chris Brown. and see his Bro, you pants look around crazy. his crazy. I think to myself, I could hit him but I can actually do way worse. I drop my pillow, get down, grab his pants, and I yank them down to his ankles. Oh my Straight God. Straight silence. I'm fully expecting to laugh with everyone in the room, but I look up and I see tears coming from my brother's eyes. Confused, I look at everyone in the room and they just look shocked. Even more confused, I look down and in my hands, I see my brother's pants. And a pair of red boxers also in the pants. Oh I look back at everyone God. in the room and they're looking at Kahlo as if he was naked, but that he was not. I look right in front of me and see that he's wearing a Dora the Explorer pull-up diaper. My brother, Bro, 10 what? at the time, he peed the bed until he was like 12, so he had to wear these. I'm going to expose myself too. I suck my thumb till I was a smooth 13. We all have old habits that we don't break for a while, but this was especially yeah. bad because he had just spent 30 minutes laughing about how I wore tidy whities meanwhile he was wearing Dora the Explorer <laughs> That's pull -up really diapers. bad. I can't and he was in the middle of an argument with Darren. I try to pull up his pants, but the room Erupts in laughter, man. I tried to calm Darren in peace down, but I literally showed the whole room his fucking diaper, bro. Like, there was no turning back. I still haven't said anything to Khalil at this point. I turn around to talk to him, and I see nothing but pure rage in his face. If looks could kill, he'd be Ted Bundy, bro. But after <laughs> glaring at me, he just runs away and goes to the room. And here's where I made a mistake, because I thought he was wallowing in self-pity in that room. But little did I know... He was plotting his revenge, and he man, did he get me back? Don't be. To but be that's a story for another day. I keep a pole on the low like a limbo. Mm. I can't be with that bitch. She's a bimbo. Shoot mm. a nigga in the face and pop his head like a pimple. Mm. Red beam headshot. I will never miss the. Mm. Mm. Red mm. 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 White shorty and she <laughs> gave me crystals. Kim Jong Un. But yeah, bro, that's gonna be the end of this video, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, and we out, bro.